We move to uh, focus uh, still on material, but more on plastic. And next guest is Enrico Pochettino, Head of Innovation Internalization Department at IREN. And he will share with us the IREN experience from disposal to material recovery. So welcome, Enrico. Thanks for being Hello, with us. Hello, everybody. Thanks. So 50 minutes and uh, please. Yeah, I share my screen. Okay. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> just a few words uh, about Iren. Um, maybe you know, but Iren is a multi utility company. We operate in several businesses uh, throughout uh, Italy, but mainly in the northwest part of Italy. And um, several businesses covering uh, all, more or less all the value chain of the energy uh, production electricity and uh, heat production, uh, distribution, waste management. We are the third operator in Italy in waste management. And um, that is the focus of many of this, uh, this uh, presentation, uh, focusing, <clears throat> as you were saying before, more on plastic recycling. And then we are the third operator in the water business and uh, uh, we manage some other business uh, like uh, energy efficiency and uh, immobility and, um, and, and, and other uh, services for the cities mainly. You know? um, just uh, I think it's important to, to try to, to, to understand how circularity and uh, let me see the environmental uh, uh, <clears throat> teams uh, uh, issue, let me say, is uh, uh, linked really to our core business. Uh, uh, of course, uh, the sector that we manage are uh, many, many point of contact with uh, the, the, the environment, not only from the, the waste business, but for all, all more or less all the businesses. And uh, we just uh, approved uh, last no um, November a new business plan with a huge investment uh, for the development of the company uh, that uh, are, um, sorry, that I have to, okay. Uh, <clears throat> that are um, for 80% focus on uh, sust sustainable uh, investment. No? So uh, uh, out of 80% um, of uh, um, uh, 12.7 billion euro of investment which we plan to do in uh, this uh, next five, uh, 10 years uh, within 2030 are connected to uh, what we call sustainable uh, investment for um, mainly for ecological uh, transition. Uh, so um, we have three main pillars of our business plan. One is uh, uh, connected to ecological transition. One is to focus on uh, territories. You no, know? so to to be very close to our territories because our businesses are can uh, reshape our territories and uh, are strictly connect to. Um, to the, the development of the place in which we operate. Another pillar is the uh, quality service uh, that, uh, of course, is uh, very important for uh, our citizen. No? Um, just to give you uh, another um, a more precise target in terms of environment, we are going in, uh, in this 10 years to uh, uh, half our carbon intensity, uh, consider that we have um, a, a huge capacity of, uh, for example, uh, thermal uh, production you know, of electricity, but that thermal production is already mainly uh, cogenerative, uh, but uh, we have also some waste to energy plant uh, and we are going to have this uh, carbon intensity of, of our asset that will also increase during this, uh, in terms of uh, total capacity uh, in these 10 years. We are going to um, increase five times the waste, the waste recovery you know, of uh, um, the, in, uh, the waste business activities. And uh, uh, we, we are going to reduce uh, in, uh, 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 significantly uh, the water losses uh, in the uh, aqueduct uh, network that we manage. Just to 
to to move uh, on the waste businesses we we cover um, part of the emilia romagna region the liguria region some other activities in uh, um, in uh, tuscany and of course in piedmont uh, we operate in about 300 municipalities no? and uh, we, we manage about uh, 3 million tons of waste uh, every year. Uh, our rate of uh, separate collation is uh, quite high, it's almost 70% of separate co collation compared to an average um, national, uh, um, uh, national average of uh, 63%. But going um, really deep on uh, <coughs> the subject of uh, this uh, this speech. Uh, let me say, uh, in the waste management, uh, sometimes uh, we uh, people and newspapers and say are, are more uh, focused on the uh, um, rate of separate collection that uh, than to the real rate of recycling you know? that is what really we uh, all have to to be focused um, just to if you see the, the italian situation uh, um, <coughs> if the uh, separate collation is about 62 percent only 54 percent is the effective recycling rate and for plastic this is uh, um, exactly the main problem no even if uh, 90% of the plastic is separate collected, so arrives to some, let me say, recycling plant you know, uh, managed by us and other, uh, our competitors, uh, only the 48% uh, of the plastic is uh, uh, effectively recycled. You know? um, this is, uh, I try to explain you why, and uh, the plastic is really uh, um, uh, material that is very difficult to, to manage. No? So uh, just to show a little bit more about the whole process of plastic, you know, coming from the, um, the polymer production you know, the produce of plastic, then there is all the, the cycle of uh, the um, introduction of the plastic into the market. Uh, if you see, maybe I can use, <laughs> Okay, this one, if you see the, the, the point is, uh, the critical point is uh, in this phase. You know, when uh, after the separate uh, collection, we, we come to the recycles, you know, we are a recycle, and then uh, only some of the plastic can close the loop and go, go back to the producer of plastic. Some other uh, plastic can be recycled with other products, so not the same quality of the plastic uh, that we had at the beginning uh, um, from uh, the virgin uh, uh, polymer, the virgin plastic, but can be used for something else. Then there is an alternative that is the chemical recycling, you know, that uh, do not try to uh, recover the, uh, the plastic as a material, but to reshape, let me say, uh, the plastic uh, uh, to uh, uh, the, the chemical monomer or polymer. And with the chemical recycling, you can go back directly to this uh, phase, you know, so uh, to the virgin material. You know. The point is the chemical recycling is already uh, a reality in terms of uh, technical uh, availability, technology availability, but it's too expensive right now for uh, a spread um, uh, diffusion of uh, the technology. So what uh, can we recover easy, easily of the plastic, the PET, HDPE, uh, uh, PP, plastic films uh, are already uh, quite easy if you can separate them in a, in a um, sorting plant, easy to recycle. Other polymers that uh, are common called uh, plus mix, plastic mix, um, usually goes to lengthy for disposal of to, for thermal uh, recovery. You know, waste to energy uh, usually uh, burn this kind of, uh, of plastic. Uh, what uh, 
we we have done thanks to the the acquisition of uh, an Italian reality that is called uh, eBlue that we bought three years ago. Uh, we co-developed with them a new way of uh, uh, managing this plus mix. No. We <coughs> um, with eBlue we produce two kinds of product. One is called the blue polymer uh, that is used for industrial purposes, and the other one is uh, called blue air. No, are uh, what are called the techno polymer. Um, and um, I try to explain you more how they can can be used. Um, <clears throat> what is important, we already have uh, four plants and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, currently a capacity of 300,000 tons per year of recycling. We are the first recycler of uh, Plasmix in Italy right now. And uh, um, we target 500,000 uh, tons per year of uh, recycling. Um, talking about the two different products, one is blue polymer is uh, um, um, a granule, polyethylene granule, that uh, um, can <clears throat> can be used to make uh, construction infrastructure products, insulation system, uh, and um, can be used also as an additive for uh, high performance asphalts. No, um, you can see in the picture how is the the, the granule no, of the, um, the, the blue polymer uh, and. Um, the other product, uh, no, sorry, that are a very example of uh, using of blue, blue polymer, and also uh, for asphalt, for uh, pavement in the uh, street, uh, uh, that is an example of using it uh, uh, for um, um, in, in an airport, but uh, can you be used also for a, a waterproofing insulation system for um, um, grass car parks uh, for truck stops uh, for furniture for uh, public and private outdoor spaces no? and uh, the other product is blue air uh, <coughs> blue air is very interesting because it's a process um, um, is a product that can be used to uh, uh, um, into the steel production and iron steel production uh, because uh, uh, it can be used in the blast furnaces and electric arc furnaces for uh, as a secondary re reducing agent. No, in order to uh, um, let me say uh, stop um, uh, take away you know, the oxygen in the steel uh, the steel production. Instead of using coal, you can use the blue air, and we are already selling it uh, to. Um, uh, some uh, factories to some steel mills uh, with very very interesting uh, result because they can reduce significantly the CO2 emission and uh, the, the coal consumption with benefits not only in terms of the environment but also some uh, uh, economic saving. No? So <clears throat> I think that uh, uh, I should be in time and um, let me just say uh, after uh, my presentation there will be um, um, a reality that is a startup called Remat uh, in which we have a stake we are helping them for another kind of recycling of plastic um, they will explain you uh, what are <coughs> in which sector they are focused on uh, what I would say uh, is that uh, going to the recovery of material, we uh, need a very, very specialized plant instead of what we had before. No? At the beginning, the landfill could take everything no, with, without any uh, technical problems. Uh, then uh, we move to the uh, waste to energy, energy recovery. No, energy recovery needs some uh more attention but let me say in a waste to energy plant you can uh, you can feel it with almost everything uh, now uh if we want to recover material we need very very specialized uh, processes and uh, plants no so the uh, waste business is becoming very very technical and uh, we need a huge investment but also use specialization in, and uh, very very you see precise uh, technologies. So thanks for your attention.
Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Enrico. Thanks for this presentation. Uh, so I'm living in Turin, so I know Iran very well. I have also some contact with uh, your company. Your plan of investment is really, really interesting and is also very important that despite the fact that uh, it's very specialized, uh, very specific, the site, the, the plans uh, you need, uh, you are uh, working and developing them uh, for everybody. So thanks again.